Uh, I'm gonna give you variations of this, just depending on how you're feeling, how your core is feeling, how the hernia might be feeling, or your back. So it's all gonna depend on what you can do. I'll give you level one, and then I'll give you the progression from that as well. So level one, this is a, a modification from what she actually wrote down, but um, we're all we're doing is we're bringing this knee here to the chest, and now we're alternating, okay? I'm keeping the bend in my knee, and my feet flat on the ground, I'm just alternating, but I'm not pulling like we were the first time. Okay, we're just alternating, nothing crazy. Okay, nice and easy, nice and easy. This is level one. Level two is we're at already max hip flexion. My stomach is being used a little bit more here and I'm holding them up at 90 degrees as opposed to leaving them down and pulling one at a time. Now we're gonna, this would be the progression. This is what she actually wrote down for you, okay? Is now I'm touching down, but your core is constantly working because you have one leg up that whole time. So if you feel like you can do these, that's great. We're going 90 degrees at the knees. Try not to bend the knees too much. Just let the hips go into extension or partial extension, back into flexion. Nice and easy. You can relax your head as well. Just pay attention to your back on this, okay? If your stomach's not engaged, you're gonna feel um, maybe some dis discomfort in that low back and that lumbar uh, musculature and, and just in the lumbar section as well. So just, just pay attention to that.